Alexa, turn on Rosie. Initiating. Alexa, turn off Rosie. Google, turn on Rosie. Initiating. Hey Google, turn off Rosie. Beginning to chat. Hello, my name is Caroline, and in this video, we are unboxing and setting up the 360 robotic vacuum cleaner, specifically the S9. That is the model that I purchased. This 360 vacuum cleaner has a comprehensive mobile app. It includes a remote control, and it works with Amazon Echo, also Google Nest Audio, and or Google Home. Before I get started, I do wanna mention I paid for this robotic vacuum cleaner with my own money. I am not paid to endorse this vacuum cleaner. I thought it'd be really fun to set this vacuum cleaner up and get it going with my voice assistants. Now let's get started. Let's start with the unboxing of the 360 Robot Vacuum Cleaner. And then I think it kind of folds down like this. First, you'll see the instructions, app download and robot connection, quick user's guide, and user manual. Wow, this is quite the book, but it is in several different languages. All right, so plugs. Depending on which country you are in, pull this off, 360 S9. Wow, this is heavy. And it says remove before use. I guess we pull this off. Probably one on the other side. Yes, pull, remove before use. This is the bottom of it, and this is the top. There is a scan the QR code, network configuration procedure. Next, inside here is, it says the charging dock. I believe this is the charging dock. Open this cover and insert the power adapter. All right, this is the mopping part. Install the bracket when mopping and remove it when cleaning. Here is the power plug, and I will find my connector from the other box I opened. There we go. This is the remote, and there's a battery for our remote. Plug in the power adapter, plug that in. If you are closer to your power plug, then you can kind of wind it around. I don't want too much of your cord showing. We're gonna get this plugged in. We're gonna get our 360 charged up and then we can get it set up. Wound it around several times and then I will plug it in. The green light just came on. I can charge my 360. Turned on. I'll start by scanning the QR code on the top of the vacuum cleaner and it takes me right to 360 Robot, Smart Robot app. I'm gonna hit Get. I am going to install this app now. All right, it's installed. I'll hit Open. I will allow it to send notifications. I'm going to agree to the privacy policy. And now I need to create an account. Quick registration, email. I clicked Get Email Verification Code. I'm gonna go over and check my email. And here is my authorization code and I'm going to paste my authorization code and I'm going to input a password. I'm gonna to agree to the user privacy statement on the bottom and then I'm gonna hit register. I have created an account that says I can add a device. I'm gonna hit the plus button to add a device. Local network is required to add a robot vacuum cleaner. Got it. There are different models. I have the S9. I'm gonna hit S9. Press and hold the power on off button for five to 10 seconds. I'm just gonna click powered on. I think it is powered on and I'm gonna hit next step. Open the top cover, press and hold the power button on off and home button for three to five seconds. Let's see if I can do that. Oh, look at that. Yes, I've opened the top cover. Looks like a, there's a sticker. All right, we'll set the sticker aside for a second here. And now it says to hold both buttons down for three to five seconds. I'm gonna say indicator blinks. I'm going to hit next step. And now I need to enter my Wi-Fi password. Now I need to open my settings wireless LAN. I need to connect my Wi-Fi to the robot. Let's see if I can do that. All right, I see my robot and I'm going to connect it, connect my phone to the robot. Now I'm returning to the app. Now I would like to find and connect devices on my local network. I'll hit OK. Starting to connect. Connected. 
now I need to give my device a name and the name can be 360 Robot Vacuum Cleaner. I think I'm going to try to give it a simple name and I'm going to hit start experiencing. Okay, and there it is. I see Susie. She's fully charged now. And if I click on her, there is a do not disturb mode. Okay, I can open it. Then I can set a do not disturb time if I choose. I'm not going to do that. Do not power off the charging dock. Otherwise, self-charging of the device fails. That is first step. Click sweep to let the robot draw the floor plan before using it. Close this. And I'm going to hit clean. Okay, there we go. Now we just finished the first cleaning of my entire home. I want to show you the 360 robot app. When you open the app, this is what you'll see. You'll see Rosie and you'll see what her charging status is. If you want her to start cleaning, you'll just hit the clean button. I don't want to do that. I just want to go into the app. And when you go into the app, you'll see that it made a little map of my home and it's labeled everything room one, two, three, four, five, six. Before we get started, I just want to show you a few things about this app that I have learned recently. Number one, the modes. So there is quiet mode. That is actually the default mode especially the first time it went through my home, but you can put it on standard powerful max if you'd like. I left it on quiet. I'm assuming that if you hit the clean button, it's going to start cleaning your home again, and it will tell you how long it uh, took to clean. Now I'm gonna hit tools, and one of the first things I recommend that you do after you get this started here, when you get it on the Wi-Fi, is I recommend that you hit update in the bottom left corner and it will do a firmware check and see if you have the latest firmware. If you don't, you can go through a process to update the firmware on your robotic vacuum cleaner. I think that's really cool, so I've done that. Next, they recommend that you edit the map. When you say edit map, they're saying that you need to name the rooms. So let's look at room one. Tap a room name to rename it. So let's uh, let's tap room one, and let's say this is bedroom. I'll hit bedroom, we'll hit confirm, and then I'll hit this room, and I'm gonna say that is the living room, confirm. I'm just gonna go through room three. I'm gonna say that is the master bedroom room firm room four I'm gonna say that's the is there a bathroom but you can just type in bathroom return confirm and I'll hit save and now I've named all the rooms and that way later on you can clean by room so if I hit room now I can say oh I just want to clean the bedroom the next thing you can do is you can schedule of course you can say all right I want to clean every day hit the plus button in the top right hand corner and I can say at 1 38 p.m. I want to vacuum and mop and I can just do it once or I want to do it every week. So let's see, you could do it daily, uh, weekdays, weekends, customized. So I'm not going to do that now because that's not the way I work on my robotic vacuum. History was uh, 62 square meters was cleaned and it took 73 minutes and it mapped out my home. And the other thing I want to do is go into settings and then robot name. I had it as Susie at the very, very beginning of this video. Now I've changed it to Rosie. Confirm. She is Rosie. And I'll show you why that's important later on to have a name for your vacuum cleaner. We're going to do this with the Google Nest Audio and my Echo device. The next thing I wanted to know, what were the commands? I'm going to hit my my in the bottom right corner, and that's just kind of my account. And there is a thing called voice commands. The skill name is 360 Smart Cleaner. That's really key for this, and it tells you what the commands are. So you can turn on, you can turn it off, uh, you can increase the power level or decrease the power level. And then for Google, the service name is 360 IoT. I'll show you why that's important later on. And then you can say turn on or you can turn off and you do use the name. So I'll say turn on Rosie, turn off Rosie when we get to that part of the tutorial. I am going to go into my Amazon app and I'm going to hit more and I'm going to hit skills and games and I'm going to search for 360 Smart Cleaner. And sure enough, here it is, 360 Smart Cleaner. And I'm gonna hit enable to use, and it's gonna prompt me to type in the login and password I just created when I set up this vacuum cleaner. And I've successfully typed in my login and password. It says it's been successfully linked, excellent. And then I'm gonna hit X, and now it's gonna say discover devices. Honestly, I've already done this. I hit discover devices. It sat there for 45 seconds. Then it said didn't discover any devices. And so I'm gonna hit cancel here because when I went to my devices on my app here, I looked at the devices, all devices, and sure enough, there was a Rosie device. And here she is, there is Rosie. 
and now I can turn her on and off right from the app. So I can hit power on, power off, and I can change the power level as well. I'm gonna hit um, power on, so I'm just gonna touch the power button and it should say on, and then you should uh, see it turn on in the next room. Initiating. There you go, and I can change it from quiet to standard to powerful, okay? And I'm gonna hit power off, turn it off, and it should go right back to its uh, dock. Do this with my Amazon Echo, I would say, Alexa, turn on Rosie. Initiating. And from here, generally speaking, I would just let her go clean the whole house and then she would just return to her dock. But because it's a demo, I'm going to say, Alexa, turn off Rosie. And she returns right back into her dock. Now let's do this with Google Nest Audio. And this is exactly the same if you do this with Google Home. The app is Google Home. So I'm gonna hit Google Home and I'm gonna hit plus in the top corner. I'm gonna hit setup device, works with Google. And I'm gonna search for 360 and 360 IoT comes up. Now I'm gonna type in my login and password for the account that I created at the beginning of this tutorial for this app, for this robot. And then I authenticate. And honestly, it did take me three tries. I'm not really sure why, but it did take me three tries and accepting some terms and conditions for this to work. But the third time was a charm for me. It found my device. Here is my Rosie. I'm gonna hit next and she is in my home. I'm gonna hit next, then you pick your room as you do with all of your Google Home devices. And I'm gonna say living room, I'm gonna hit next. And now if I scroll down to a living room, now I find Rosie. Now I'm gonna hit play, and that should turn on Rosie. Initiating. Okay, there she goes. And I can pause her. And now she's taking a break. Okay, she's got to be running. And then when you want her to go back to the dock, then you'll say dock. So you can start your cleaning from the Google Home app as well. But I know what you're really curious about is let's start it from the Google Nest Audio or uh, Google Home. And so I'll say, hey Google, turn on Rosie. Okay, starting Rosie. Initiating. And there she goes. And then I'll say, hey Google, turn off Rosie. Okay, stop it. Rosie. Before I go, if you don't like saying turn on and the name of your vacuum robot, for me it's turn on Rosie. If you don't like saying that, there is a way to customize it to say really almost anything, you know, vacuum my house instead. And I'm gonna show you how to do that right now. I'm gonna hit the Alexa app, start that up. I'm gonna go into more in the bottom right hand corner. Then I'm gonna hit routines. And now you can customize it to whatever you want, basically, as long as it starts with that wake word first. I'm going to hit the plus button in the top right corner. Then I'm going to enter my routine name. So I'm just gonna call this vacuum, hit next. Then when this happens, and this is where you choose a phrase of your choice. And I'm gonna hit voice and the phrase is the wake word, comma, and I'm gonna put vacuum my home. And then I'm gonna hit Next, there you go. Now I'm gonna hit add action. I'm gonna hit the plus button. I need to go into my devices. Let's look for smart home devices, smart home. And I'm going to look at all devices. Scroll down and look for Rosie. There is Rosie, tap on Rosie. And I'm gonna hit power. And you can even choose your power level. So let's say I want standard. Let's say I want hard to vacuum standard. There are three levels in the 360 vacuum quiet, standard, and powerful. Let's say I choose standard, then I'm gonna hit next, and then I'll hit save. And then the next time I can say vacuum my home, and then she will start vacuuming. There is a more normal phrase that you'd like to use with your Amazon Echo device. This is how you do it. That's it for this video, guys. Thank you so much for watching. Please subscribe, and I'll see you next time. Bye now.